Well, one of the most important components of the uh, overall IQ test is this thing called the Raven's Progressive Matrices Test. And uh, this is Raven is actually the name of the person who came up with it. It is the best single test measure of this construct of G, this generalized fluid intelligence, this component that's shared across many different uh, tasks. And if you look at what this is, it's kind of the ability to juggle lots of different pieces of information. Again, this neural CPU kind of idea of working memory, but it also really depends on your ability to motivate yourself to do this kind of seemingly quite hard task, right? So you have to find which of the different alternatives down here best fits in this cell, this lower right-hand cell, um, based on the patterns that you can see in the cells above. And none of these things are, are you know, impossible, but they look complicated, right? If you try out basic kinds of uh, patterns, you're like, oh, what's going on here? Well, gee, this has two things and that has three vertical things and that has a vertical thing. So what, three, two, three, one, one, two, three, three, one, well, Hmm. Each one has a different, uh, you know, number. There's no repeat, so maybe this has two vertical items. Uh, let's see. What about the number of horizontal items? One, three, two, three, two, one, two, one. Okay. Well, this must have three different horizontal items. Okay. Okay. So, and if we look along the diagonal here, we can see one, two, three, that works, and two, two, two. So all of those considerations tell us that the thing that fits in here must be this one, this one, this one, or this one, okay? But now you're like, well, which one is it? How do we know which one of these things are? And some of these other patterns aren't so clear, like there's two curvy guys here, open guys, I don't know what's going on. So it really requires you to, especially when they, these problems get harder, they start out easier and then they get harder. Uh, when you get to these really hard problems, you have to keep going. You have to keep saying, I can do this. And that motivational component is hard to ignore as an important factor. Uh, if you think you're capable of coming up with the answer, you'll stick with it and you'll try out different ideas. And maybe, especially if you've had any kind of experience with these kinds of puzzles before, you know that it's important to kind of keep entertaining different ideas. If you get stuck on a particular hypothesis, it's important to try to update that and clear out and come up with a different hypothesis. And so a lot of these kind of meta level strategic issues come into play on performance on these tests. But the core of it, you know, certainly is this ability to kind of do this fluid reasoning, this kind of thinking about different patterns, recognizing patterns, organizing information according to patterns. So it's very interesting to think about kind of what, what individual success looks like on these kinds of tests. So when people think about this kind of notion of generalized intelligence, there's this kind of gut feeling like, well, you know, when I think about different people that I know, each one kind of has a different profile. They, everybody has different strengths and weaknesses why, why do we have just like one notion of intelligence? Why aren't there many different kinds of intelligence? And if you think about the uh, organization of the brain and how we have all these different parts of the brain and how all the different kind of specializations and functional organization of these different abilities are exist in different parts of the brain, it doesn't really make sense that you would have like one factor that would kind of be common across all this. Again, there is no central processing unit in the brain. Uh, it's always this kind of distributed neural system. According to this, it would make sense that, you know, some person may be particularly good at language, learning different languages. Another person may be particularly good at envisioning different kinds of spatial relationships. Another person may be particularly good at making decisions or planning. Uh, maybe some people have very good visual imagery um, and so this idea that, that different people have different strengths really makes sense in terms of the organization of the brain and critically the fact that each part of the brain that, that acquires these abilities is, is a result of all the learning. So how much experience you have in any given domain is absolutely going to make a huge difference in how 
you know, capable each different part of that brain of your brain is for these different types of abilities. Uh, so basically, there's as many different kinds of intelligences as there are kind of different specialized parts of your brain, which is really hard to define. So it's, it's basically a very large number. Various people have tried to categorize these different types of multiple intelligences uh, in the literature. So Sternberg has this triarchic idea about kind of analytic, which would be more of the typical uh, book smart uh, kind of G type of factor, but then uh, also a kind of creative artistic kind of um, uh, intelligence, and then a more practical street smart kind of uh, ability to deal with the real world kind of intelligence. Uh, Carol has a three stratum uh, kind of level with, with uh, G and then eight more specific versions of that and then 69 different categories that are even more specific different subsets of intelligence. And that really starts to get into this kind of very large number of different kinds of abilities. And certainly most people agree that there is this basic distinction if we think about multiple intelligences, as we've talked about before, this notion of the fluid intelligence um, versus the crystallized intelligence. So this kind of general fluid intelligence uh, versus crystallized, uh, crystallized getting stronger uh, as people get older and fluid intelligence, unfortunately, getting weaker as you get older, less able to invest all that effort and uh, juggling all those different things.